Rob and China are going crazy on each other, and finally one of the Kardashian Jenners has something to say or feel about it. Oh my gosh. Ariana Grande wishes a fallen fan a happy birthday, and it is so cute, guys. Oh, so sweet. And Kylie Jenner is saying, oh boy, no, they are not allowed on her show, and she is not talking about them. We're gonna tell you why right now on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Madison Conklin. And I'm Madison Hill. And if you guys have been living under a rock for the past 48 <laughs> hours, well then you've missed a crap ton of stuff that is going on between Rob Kardashian and Black China. Like the definition of social media showdown is it's, basically what happened. It's More like one-sided, but still is. Yeah, he <laughs> is waging war on Black China, on Instagram, which has now been shut down. So now he's moved to Twitter, but pretty much you can you can check out Holly Scoop's YouTube page and get filled in up to date what has been going on. We want to talk about how Rob's family feels about all this. Right. Obviously they're going to have opinions because whatever Rob does reflects on them. Reflects Regardless, the family name, the family image, the family brand, everything. Especially because they also have a child together. So yes. now I feel like everything is like 10 times more amplified. However, I would like to say I'm not that surprised. I was like Rob, what were you thinking about getting involved with China in the first place? Exactly. So, which I'm pretty sure Mama Chris is probably thinking the same thing. Well, and now she's yeah. shaking her head because she's like, this is exactly what I predicted. So pretty much the war that Rob is waging on China is the fact that she was cheating on him while they were together. He's posting all these nasty things about her on social media. And when I mean nasty, it's like her naked photo. She sent him pictures of her in their bed with another guy. So yeah. like, you kind of feel for Putting Rob Putting that, that guy sense. on blast, that poor exactly. guy. Like, and the robes, <laughs> like the robes, he's really worried about the robes that they're all wearing. But anyways. Pretty much, um, none of the Kardashian women have said anything on right. social media or publicly, but reports say that momager Kris Jenner is absolutely ill over what is going on. She's very pissed off about well, it. Can I mean, you blame her? It's I mean, Louise. It's the company, uh, the family name, which is their company, which yeah. is their money maker. And she's saying it's also going to harm Dream, their baby together. You know, this is that is the only thing I kept thinking about yesterday when I was looking at all those Instagram posts, the tweets, is when Dream grows up and gets access to the internet, can you imagine? Oh, and you know, you know Black China is going to like, no, she's saving exactly. all of this and being like, look exactly. what your father did. Can and you then, imagine reading that about your parents? Exactly. I honestly can't. But it's funny because Rob did defend himself. He's like, I want Dream to see this because then he's going to know what real love is and what real love isn't. Saying mm -hmm. that China, Black China doesn't, isn't capable of loving. Yeah. So, I mean. A custody battles in the future, a oh, legal battles in the future. There, there is, so is a battles. lot of fallout that's going to happen. And I don't blame Chris for being like sickened over this because it is actually kind of twisted as to what they're both doing to each other. And like, yeah. this poor baby, she, you know, know, can't even form her own opinions yet. Like, <laughs> she's just caught in the middle and it's not, I don't think it's healthy or safe for her no. to be with either one solely. So it's going to be interesting how this situation plays we out. We shall sure. see. But in other happy news. Yes, um, I love happy news. Ariana Grande, <laughs> as you know, has continued her Dangerous uh, Woman World Tour mm -hmm. since the Manchester attack. Yep. And she actually paid a very special tribute to one of her fans that uh, unfortunately was killed at the Manchester mm -hmm. bombing at her concert back in May. Um, Safi Russo, uh, she would have been nine years old on Tuesday. So yesterday during, um, you know, her, I think she was in um, Buenos Aires. Mm -hmm. uh, she posted on Instagram, you it's know, Safi, we're thinking mm -hmm. of you, baby, with a cake emoji at the end of it to celebrate her birthday. So, Aww. well, yeah, I think it's, I think she's, it's mixed emotions, changed. obviously. Yeah, you know. I mean, it's, it's bittersweet, but I think mm -hmm. Ariana, and granted, you know, I, I will admit, like, I wasn't, following her as in depth before the attack as mm -hmm. I was after, but I feel like she is a very, very much a changed person. She's been very oh, passionate absolutely. about her fans, very considerate of all her fans and I think around she's, the world. She's handled it as best as she could. I think there's no textbook way on how to handle these situations the right yeah. way. Um, but I have been very impressed with the maturity and the strength she's shown. And even just taking the time to post this Instagram, and I know we're on social media all the time, but I exactly. think that speaks louder mm -hmm. than just the simple act. And granted, the picture was of herself performing at a concert, <laughs> but she did put in the caption, yeah. happy birthday, you know, we're thinking about you, love I'm you. I'm gonna choose to take it positively. Yeah. Obviously, it's still a sad subject, but I'm gonna choose to take the act as a positive. Exactly. Positive step, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Positive step, and Kylie Jenner, you guys, her new show is coming out August 6th, that's one month from today, The Life of oh, Kylie goodness. debuts on the E! Network. And guess what she's not going to be talking about? Tyga and Travis Scott. Which, 
The boys, the men in her life. Why not? That Okay, <laughs> you want us to know the real Kylie? Well, boys are involved with the real and Kylie. And I told Maddie, so what does she want to focus on? Because I feel like that is, I mean, she's all about posting the sassy pics and talking about, I mean. Exactly. You know, it's always about her and what the men in her life. That's why, yeah. Well, she has made. So it. I'm just very confused. I'm like, girl, that's what people want to see. No one cares about anything else. Right, but she is refusing to talk about her ex Tyga and her new boyfriend Travis. She only wants to focus on her businesses and social media presence. Which, by the way, we're already seeing the social media. I was going to so say, we can't really dive into that. I'm even sure more. producers are just wanting to pull their hair out because it's like, yeah. how do you film? Social, your social media presence. Exactly. Uh, like, do we just film you? We're just gonna put yourself? up a, a montage of her Instagram posts. Like, I'm very confused. I'm confused as well, and uh, so are a lot of people that have been test watching the show. Um, they're kind of not reacting well to it. They say it's pretty freaking boring because interesting. It's just Kylie doing social media so stuff and then talking about it'll business. It'll be interesting to see how long this goes on because I feel like E execs are probably like, this is a great idea, everyone loves Kylie. Exactly. But now, but now she's not giving them what they want so it's gonna possibly and be a they, flop. And reports say they are starting to sweat and they are freaking out about like if it's gonna flop, if it's gonna do well and so they're trying to find different ways to make it more interesting to audiences and... So are you gonna watch it? I'm gonna tune in for the for the debut, and okay. then I'm gonna make my opinions from there, and then see where we shall go. Cause you know what? Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised, and we're all gonna be like, "Whoa, that's really cool. She's really cool." I'll tune in for the second one, and then you know, <laughs> third one, fourth one. Wow, it's already over, and you're like, "Oh, when's the second season?" Yeah, so and I, I guess we'll have to. That. We'll have to see. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think Kylie should be talking about the men in her life? Yes. Um, you know, kind of make it a little more juicy, more mm -hmm. drama filled. And then what do you? Oh, talk about drama filled. What? What do you think <laughs> about Rob and China? What's going on there, and how Chris Jenner is feeling about this? And then Ariana Grande. You know what? Just send her some love. We love her, mm -hmm. and we would love for you guys to comment down below. Let us know what you're thinking about all these. And uh, yeah, we'll see you back here tomorrow for Yay! Friday. Woo! -hoo! And yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. All scoops, daily rewinds. Bye guys. Bye.